everyone, it's Pam with FairfieldAfterDark.com and it is Saturday night and I'm hanging out in the belly of BJ Ryan's right now, down in an office and right next to me I've got Pat McGee hanging out. He's doing some sets here tonight, a very intimate dinner show uh, with a buddy of yours, also Pat. Yeah, Pat. Patrick McAloon. Patrick McAloon. Yep, he's All right. a fellow Rhode Islander, although I'm officially from Virginia. Right. I've been in Rhode Island for 15 years. So. Oh. I thought it was less time than that. I thought it's were... flown by. Yeah, but, right? Yeah. Okay, so looking back on your career, Pat McGee career, yeah. you've been doing this for 20 years or so. I can't believe it's been 20 years. Now, you've had a lot of band members, I think, kind of come and go yeah. over the years. So today, the sound of the Pat McGee band, the sound of Pat McGee, mm -hmm. who, are your, uh, who are your peeps? I mean, who are you still well, relying on you know, right with you? It's always been, it started off as me before the band, uh, not to discredit the Pat McGee band, because that sound was like a very specific thing that we did. Yeah. Um, and I, we still get, we do reunion shows, so like we'll have shows down in DC, we're, we're gonna play on a New York show, and um, that original core, it was six of us for about 10 years. Oh wow. And then we lost our drummer, he died suddenly, and that sort of set us on this new path, and you know, over the years, as you know, being in a band is very difficult to keep everyone together and to keep, you know, as, as yeah. people grow up and get married and have kids, it, it becomes a difficult thing. Yeah. But, um, Yourself included. Myself included. I have four kids. Four? four kids. <laughs> My God. You don't look old enough to have four. I know. Well, but the littlest one is it's Jack. Your, this keeps you young. Right? Yeah. Littlest one is Jack. The littlest he's, one he's is Jack. He's almost two. And, um, yeah, so, but the sound of the band is, it's just originated with my influences growing up, which is um, James Taylor, Jackson Brown, mm, Little Feet, love Jackson uh, Brown, yeah. Allman Brothers, yeah. you know, Grateful Dead, like Crosby, Stills and Nash. Th those are the bands that I idolized, and I formed the original Pat McGee band to replicate that vibe. Yeah. And we've always, no matter who's been on stage with me, we've always been trying to, yeah, you know, pay homage to those amazing artists. I, I get it. I mean, when I describe your music, which I have this past week talking about your show, I describe it as the music that you want to have on the road trips in the car, the the music that you want to hear outside at a festival with a big beer in the hand, and you know, that's, that's, well, that's what it is. You guys really, yeah. that's what you do. You're, you're fantastic. Thank you, yeah. thank you. Well, that's been, I grew up in that atmosphere. My older brother, older sister took me to a lot of festivals. My parents were big music fans, and my brother played guitar, so I decided to play guitar. It's, okay. I grew up in a musical family. Yeah, to what every, you know, unless your brother's not cool, but most older <laughs> brothers are always cool. Oh, yeah? So, okay. yeah, I, um, I'm thankful that he set me on that path. Yeah. Here I am. Here I am hanging out in the basement. Yeah, and we're in a basement. In but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. I want to ask you about Down the Hatch. I looked yeah. that, that I, want, I wish to God I had, had been there and seen that and done that. That looks like a fantastic time. You have to come. It's every year. We do it. It's now six years running. Outer Basically, Banks, Outer North Banks Carolina. of North Carolina, okay. I, I have a passion of sharing artists that people do not know about yep. and places that people want to visit and maybe have never been and need a little kick in the butt to get there. I love um, it. So the Outer Banks of North Carolina is an amazing place. I grew up in Virginia, so it's kind of common for people in Virginia to go there, but yeah. all over the country people are like, oh, I've heard about, you know. Yeah. Hatteras and, and Outer Banks and the Wild Horses and all that stuff. So it's it's an amazing place. And we set up on the beach. If you go to patmcgee.net, you can read about previous Down the Hatches, watch videos. I bring 12 to 14 artists that I think are amazing that yeah. people may not know about. And we do a Carolina barbecue proper. We do all sorts of great shows in the, in the hotel, on the beach. I do guitar lessons with fans. Yeah. I do songwriting lessons with fans. Actually, if you do check out the website, patmcgee.net, yeah. um, there's video of, of the Outer Banks. You have an actual, I mean, down the hatch we have some proper videos series well. video, and I, and I actually watch that, and that's why I'm jealous, and I really want to be there. Well, but next June, two to five. Right, but you have something coming up in October. <laughs> this is a new thing for you, yeah. but similar situation. Similar vibe of, hey, I want to share where I, I, I've, I've been traveling for 20 years, so it's like, I see these great cities. If I had it my way, I would do these like 10 a year, all over the country. <laughs> share places that okay. I've been that I think are amazing that yeah. Most Americans are like, oh, I, I either go here or here on vacation. Like, there's so many other great spots in this yeah. country you need to check out. Rhode Island, being my home of 15 years, is I always get the same response when I say I'm from Rhode Island. Uh, granted, we're in Connecticut tonight, so most people in Connecticut don't think it's that strange. But people around the country think Rhode Island is like some 
other, is that Nova Scotia? <laughs> what, where is, what? is that? That's Long Island, right? What what is that? <laughs> it's so, a little blip of a of a state. Yeah, it's a it's a unique place, and it's kind of trapped in time a little bit. Yeah, which is right up my alley. Um, and I wanted to share it with people. And Newport has obviously got what it's got going on, which is a lot of people know about that. But there's a lot of other really cool, unique things to Rhode Island, and I want to share it with people. Yeah. And I'm going to bring these artists that are incredible, mostly New England artists for this specific. I event. love that. So we call it Ocean State of Mind. I have okay. a song called Rhode Island on my new album. Oh, okay. And uh, that song has a tag in it, Ocean State of Mind, and uh, you know, figure tie that in there. And All right. Well, there's nine tickets left, so if you're seeing this, check out the website, get the information for Ocean State of Mind happening uh, in October. October 18 October to 20. 18. It's based okay. out of Bristol, Rhode Island. Yeah. But we're going to Newport. We're going to Portsmouth, Middletown. Yeah. Um, there's only nine tickets. Only nine tickets. Literally nine tickets left. Yeah. So by the time this airs and you know, yeah. there's like two. So try to check that out if you can. That's gonna be a fantastic time, obviously, with Pat McGee putting it on. That's gonna be a party. Mm -hmm. Cheers to that. Cheers to um, that. Yeah, right? Okay, so this is the part where I just ask you five random quest questions. It's called it's that. called Fads Fast Five. Alright? Is, is it anything like Cards Against Humanity? No. Have you ever played that? Cards Against Humanity? What is that? It's a very sketchy game that you adults play late at night. Oh. It can't be anywhere near as bad as that. No, this is nothing like that <laughs> okay, at all. Go ahead. No, no, this is pretty G-rated stuff. I, like, all right. I, I, I'm even like, okay, um, the Breakfast Club movie. Oh yeah. Which character are you? <laughs> I, you know, in my later year, in my earlier years, I would have been, I think, always I, Anthony Michael Hall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I you're really. Kind of the, a little bit of the nerd guy. A little bit of the nerd, right. but also wanted to be the cool guy. Not as cool as Judd. And not as cool as um, what's his Emilio. Emilio was a little bit too much of a freaking <laughs> muscle head. Although I did play basketball in high school. Oh, you but did. I was actually going to ask the question, but yeah. no, I'm not going to do that. Okay, um, you're a wino like me. I've become I can quite see that. the wino, yeah. So uh, favorite wine? Do you, have you know, I'm, a, I'm a big. Uh, if you have to talk American wines, uh, Washington State. Good stuff. Think fantastic stuff. Yeah. You get a lot more for your dough. Oh, you beer people. What are you doing? Wine. No, beer's pretty good yeah, too. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Approaching football season. I like um, it all. What's the first concert you ever went to? Well, technically, I refer to the one that was that I went to and was able to maybe have a beer by myself. Oh, okay. That kind of concert. Like okay. That experience. Which was? Robert Plant. Oh. Robert Plant. So I, This is horrific to say. But my first concert, where I wasn't old enough, but literally yeah. mom had to drive me oh, and yeah. my friend in the car, yeah. was Culture Club. That's pretty sweet, though. <laughs> Culture Club. Before, I was yeah. a Boy George fan, and he actually just played down in. He's like he's he's, he's, he's going again. He's, yeah. he's coming around. I saw I'm, him on Today Show. I, I, I couldn't believe it. I'm like, so I, all right, so I'm a little well, too revealing about me. No, that's good. That's good. I mean, <laughs> all right, um, the strangest or the coolest Halloween costume you've ever come up with. Do you ever get cool and crazy for Halloween? Well, not to try and resell down the hatch, but this year we did a uh, punk, at night in the hotel ballroom, we okay. do a theme situation, which sounds very okay. cruise shippy and well, no, cheesy, I but saw some of that, adults like the really 70s. dig it. Okay. So these 70s themes, we did one that was punk, because <laughs> one, uh, my Patrick Macklin's little daughter wanted to do punk because she wanted to wear cool. punk clothes. She All doesn't right. know anything about punk. but. So we did it, and okay. I had no costume, I showed up. This is what's now growing out as what was a complete oh, perfect mohawk. I shaved my head, well Patrick shaved my head right before I went on stage. Black fingernail polish, That's eyeliner. Oh, it was, I had a, I had a uh, studded collar. So where are those pictures? Oh, they're there. Go to go to patmcgee.net, down the hatch. And you'll, you'll see those pictures. Oh my God. I tried to rock that out. mohawk when I got home. Okay. And pick up my kids from school. <laughs> like, no. I thought it was great. I wanted to keep it, but I'm sorry. This is what's left. It, yeah, that's, the, that's the, cool. The, the, that's the good. lame adult faux hawk. Okay. All right. Well, here's the final question, and this is the one that I just ask everybody. Mm -hmm. Favorite jelly bean flavor? Ooh, do they make like a coffee one? Because if they made a they coffee, they do. One. Believe it or not, the last artist I interviewed was espresso. Was his favorite. espresso? Yeah, I, I would go with espresso. Really? Yeah. Okay. Unless they made like a Washington wine flavored one. They should do that. They need a Jelly adult, Belly, adult you need to beans. make, oh, an adult bag with nothing but, because my favorite are the cocktail ones. The margarita, the pina colada. Oh, pina colada's pretty damn good. Yeah, right? 
I knew from a young age that I like pina coladas. I'm like, I don't know what this is, but I think I love it. Well, cheers. This is this is what we do. This is Pat McGee, guys, hanging out, like I said, in the belly of BJ Ryan's tonight. We are. Well, Thank he's you, got BJ another Ryan's. set to go on, so uh, I'll let him guzzle a few more uh, drops of wine over there yeah. before he gets back on, and we're gonna go and watch another set. So yeah, once again, it's it's Pat McGee hanging out with me. This is FairfieldAfterDark.com. This is another edition of Bam Bits. We'll see you out there. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, cheers. <laughs>